So we're looking at optimization here, and optimization is never an easy question. It's never simple familiar. These can be a little bit complicated. So you want to slow yourself down a little bit and make sure that you're reading the question, understanding what you need to do here. Now, I tend to read these questions backwards because usually what you want to do is found at the very end of it. And it says, uh, determine we, that would maximize profits. Look for that word maximize or minimize and try to figure out what you're trying to maximize. In this case, I'm trying to maximize profits. So I'm going to need what's called a profit function, a function that determines the profit. Now, of course, the problem is that uh, when I look at the question itself, I don't have a profit function. And I find out that actually I've got a cost function, a cost with respect to the number of items. Now, think about what profit is. The money coming in minus the money coming out minus the costs will be equal to the profit. Uh, this is something that you can learn. Profit is equal to revenue minus cost. So what is the revenue here? A small manufacturing firm can sell all its production at a price of $6 per item. So if I sell one item, $6, two items, $12. So my revenue function here is gonna be the number of items multiplied by six. Now my cost, well, my cost, I'm told, my cost is this big function right here. You've got to be careful here because I'm subtracting the whole cost function, which is going to have the effect of flipping all the signs there when I get rid of those brackets. So minus 1,000, minus 6n, plus 0.03n squared, and uh, minus 10 to the negative 6n cubed. Now, just talking about this 10 to the negative 6 for a moment, just so you don't get a little bit confused here, 10 to the negative 6 is the same as 1, 1 over 10 to the 6, which is 1 over 1 over t uh, 1 with 6 zeros. Du, 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 du. So it's just a big number, 1 over a million. Oh, sorry, a small number, 1 over a million, which is 0. 0.00001. So we can simplify this a little bit because the 6n minus 6n cancels out. I've also written it in a different order um, because it makes sense to have the n cubed first, the n squared second. There's no n term, but then the constant at the end. That's generally how we write polynomials. Okay, I'm trying to maximize something. I need to find some turning points. Before I do that though, I just want to get an image in my head of what this function looks like. It's negative n cubed. So a negative uh, cubic. That has a general shape of starting up here, turning at some point, coming back down again and going like that. So you can see that I'm going to have a minimum and a maximum, and then it's going to shoot down to here. If it was the other way, uh, it would kind it would look like this, obviously, which would mean that you should always make more of these items because the further along you go, the more profit you're going to make. But in this instance, there seems to be some moment at which if you make another um, product, then you're actually going to make less money. Pretty, pretty common in this kind of scenario. All right, so that's the kind of thing we're looking for. If we need to find turning points, we find the derivative, we let the derivative equal zero. Here's our derivative. I've just made it simple for myself by just putting the three out here, three times negative 10 to the negative six, and then 0.06n because I'm multiplying by two there. Let it equal zero. And now I guess if I'm using a calculator, I can n solve this. Uh, I'm going to do it a little more old school, three times negative 10 to the negative six n plus 0 0.006. I've just taken n out as a common factor here. Therefore, n equals 0 or um, 0 equals this thing in the brackets. All right, so I've made a mistake, and I want you to see how I figured out that I've made a mistake. So I wrote this thing down here, and then I typed it into my calculator, and I got an answer of negative 2,000. And I thought to myself, wait, that's not right, and that couldn't be right, because um, when I go back here, I had a graph that looked a bit like this. I had one turning point at zero, so actually the graph was going to look, I think, more like this, with a turning point there or something. And this, this is going to spit out an answer of negative 2,000, meaning there's some other turning point over here. In the context of this question, that's just not going to make sense. So, 
I feel like I've got a negative when I should have a positive something. So if I go back through the lines here, it's hard to spot, but I've lost a negative here. If I put a negative there, which now means that I have a negative there, um, means my answer isn't negative 2,000, it's 2,000. So I just wanted to give you that insight to see that like, if you make a mistake, keep looking for context clues, keep looking for ideas that something might be a mistake. Okay, I think what this looks like now is a 2000 here and a zero here. Now, I don't know how high or low this is. I'm not being asked though, because it says use calculus to determine the weekly production that would maximize profits. The weekly production that would maximize profits is 2000. I believe because of the fact that this is a negative cubic, um, therefore the second uh, turning point is going to be the maximum. But hmm, I could explain that. I could explain that using this like sentence, but it's a bit clunky. Instead, I should probably just test the um, turning points to find out which one's the minimum and which one's the maximum using the second derivative test. So here I found the second derivative. I'll let you think about how I found that second derivative from this line here. And then I've subbed in zero into the second derivative and 2000 into the second derivative. When I sub in zero, I get 0 0.006, which is uh, greater than zero. Therefore, that point is a minimum. And I've subbed in 2000 into the second derivative, which yields a negative result. Therefore, it's less than zero. Therefore, that second, that uh, turning point is a maximum. I've found my maximum. My maximum here is right there at 2000 units. Uh, now, of course, the question didn't ask it, but if the question asked, what is the maximum profit? We would sub 2000 back into our profit function here and we'd find out what that maximum profit is. All right, there's an optimization question.